up everybody welcome back to the channel today we're going to be doing something a little different and we're going to be taking a look at this little guy the range technology gm active fuel management disabled device those of you that are new to the channel just to give you a little bit of background i've got over 10 years of experience in the automotive industry i've done silly stuff from windsor swaps and fox bodies <laughs> swaps and old pickups the hero car of the channel putting a Cummins turbo on a 99 Lincoln Town car lessons to blow when you get to work especially on a Friday you gotta pull your turbo town car out I miss driving this thing I miss the noises it makes I miss the faces on people when I pass them. I miss it all. Some might call me a professional. Anyway, let's get back on topic. Active fuel management. If you're not sure exactly what that is, on a lot of the late model GM vehicles that are V8s, they have what's called active fuel management on their V8 models and vehicles such as their Tahoes, their pickup trucks, and in my particular scenario, I have an 08 Envoy Denali with a 5.3. Now what that does is it takes your 8-cylinder and makes it a 4-cylinder. Sounds pretty stupid. I know. What's even more dumb is how they do it. What they do is they control the oil flow to the active fuel management lifters, which are on the back four cylinders. And I'll put a picture in right here to show what they look like. And what that does is it actually collapses the lifter and prevents the valve from opening. And then the computer will not send spark or fuel there so it doesn't wash the cylinder out but inevitably it gives you a dead hole four to be exact and when you put exhaust on one of these v8s that has that it sounds horrible it literally sounds like you have a misfire so there's a lot of different ways that you can go about doing that you can take the motor apart do a cam and lifter swap super labor intensive not very cheap um, in my case i bought a high miles Envoy Denali just for a winter beater, but the lifters had actually gotten stuck a few times on me and I thought the thing was going to blow up. So I was looking for a remedy to go about it and I came across these little chips and there's a couple different companies that make them like Diablo, um, the Super Chip makes like a handheld tuner, but I mean they range from anywhere from $175 all the way north of $400. Again, not really trying to spend that much money. I'm a Ford guy, as some of the 60-some subscribers on this channel will know. But, um, again, winter beater, don't judge. Desperate times, desperate measures. But anyway, I didn't want the thing to blow up on me. I just bought it. So I did some research, and one of my buddies has... His parents have one, and they bought this, which is the Range Technology AFM Disabled Device. I wasn't quite sure, so I wanted to do a little bit of research, and I wasn't sure how many of you know, but Range Technology is actually a sister company of Holly. I felt way better in my purchase after knowing that, being that they're a reputable company. There's a lot of knockoffs out there that will try to sell you something for dirt cheap, and it doesn't do anything, or worse yet, it changes parameters in the ECU to make it seem like it does something, but it's actually doing bad things so I wasn't quite sure so I wanted to do a quick product review and I could not be happier not only do I have all eight cylinders all the time but in my particular case this thing was averaging right around 14 miles to the gallon and I got a 70 mile commute to and from work and 
after putting this in, I took it on a thousand mile trip and I was averaging a little bit north of 18.5. So it definitely got better, which is more than I could have asked for. Installation of this little guy, pretty simple. You find your OBD diagnostic port. You go ahead, make sure you put it in the correct way, that helps. And you plug it in. You're done. That's it. One thing to be aware of, right on the back, has a little very important message. It says, do not leave your range device installed on a vehicle that is not driven daily. Unplug device if the vehicle will not be driven for a few days. There may be a draw on the battery in some vehicles. I haven't run into that with, in my particular case, with the Envoy, but it's something to be aware of. You don't want to buy this and then think it's doing wrong if you don't drive the vehicle very often you get a dead battery and say you know because you are spending a little bit of money i paid it was 185 i did pay for next day air so it was like 215 bucks but i'm telling you right now i've had it for a little over a month and it was definitely worth the money so if you're looking for and a cheap and effective way to bypass that AFM on your GM vehicle, I would highly, highly recommend the Range Technology AFM Disabled Device. This isn't a sponsored video. This is more of just an informative video, you know. I was skeptical. When you're going to spend almost $200 on something, it's kind of good to have a little bit of a review or get a review from somebody who's actually had it because... For some of you, $200 might not be very much. For me, it's 200 bucks. you know. I could go elsewhere, like parts to fix Biggie. There will be another video coming out on the Hero Car for the channel. Unfortunately, just give you a little tidbit, we're going to be building a motor. Took it for one last ride, and uh, yeah, may a window to block. So... Stay tuned for that.